Hi guys, and welcome to the My Favorite Memories craft table. This is where crafting fills my days, my nights, my closets, my living room, my kitchen, cupboards, front porch, back porch, garage. Welcome to the My Favorite Memories Craft Table. I was on Pinterest the other day, and yes, it, I'm always on Pinterest. It's not a waste of time. It is research. Anyway, I was on Pinterest, and I happened across something that was new to me. It was called Reverse Canvas. It's when you take a canvas, and just a plain old canvas and you turn it over you take the staples out you take the canvas off you take this wood piece you flip it over and you've got yourself a beautiful frame like uh, where where have I been really so today I'm going to pass on this brilliant little idea but Knowing me, if you know me at all, I'm going to kind of bend, fold, and mutilate it to my preference. So, I am going to take a canvas, yes. But my canvas is going to look like this. Yes, this is it. This is, oh my god, it's a duck. Okay. I have a really good friend. He also has a, a vlogging channel, basically, and he also has a blog, and his name is uh, Dose of Dad, and he has the cutest little girl. Now, if you watched any of my Christmas videos, you probably have been introduced to Charlie, and she... In one of his videos was painting this and it was <laughs> just it was like the old Bob Ross narration style and right here is the duck and this is the oh my god this is a duck canvas so I am going to take this beautiful canvas that she sent me and I am going to put a wood frame around it. So, we are going to do it just like the reverse canvas only because I really don't want to lose anything on here. I am going to take a larger canvas, this right here, and I am going to use this wood frame on this so let me let me kind of show you what I mean okay first thing you're gonna need of course is your canvas and to, to get the staples out um, I have seen it several different ways so I have a pair of the little tin snips here. I have a small flathead screwdriver. I have some needle nose pliers. I also have a utility knife here. And a hammer, just in case I get really pissed off. Just kidding, just kidding. So this is what we're gonna need I hope to get the staples off and then after that you're going to need of course whatever you want on your canvas or if you're framing another piece you're going to have to take the staples out of this one too you're going to need 
uh, a staple gun or something to put the canvas back on. So I have this small Stanley um, staple gun. I use this because it's small, light, and I don't have to be strong to use it. And um, paint or stain or whatever you need for your... And I have actually uh, found a hook, hanging hook. It's a sawtooth hanger. And it comes with the little um, nails already in it. So, and they stay in there so they don't get lost. You're not chasing them all over the floor. And so this is what we're going to need, hopefully. Like I said, I'm going in blind. I've never done this. So bear with me. So let's get to work. Alright, step one. Getting the staples out. Now, the one way that I did see it was basically you cut down the edge like this. And you tore it off. And we'll see. And this left the staples in. Now you can either pound those down flat or see if you can get them out. Well, if you can at least get them off, off the wood, I bet you you could get them out. There. Alright, so I'm going to go through and I'm going to remove these staples and I will get back to you when this is all done. have it. Now on this one I cut the edges and got the staples out. I will have to confess this is not the easiest thing to do in, that I've ever done. Okay. Uh, I honestly used some words that well I'm pretty sure my mom wouldn't be proud of me. Anyway, and on this one, I wanted to save as much of the canvas as possible, so I pulled, I did not cut, and hopefully, and this little canvas does tear very easily, by the way. Alright, so that's the wood part. The small one I am putting aside, and now I'm going to flatten this out. Let's 
this. And the big one is going to go over that. And there is going to be our frame. That's exactly what I wanted. So, before I do anything else, the first thing is I am going to make a mark. Use my little marker. And put this exactly where I want it. I don't want any white showing. And I'm going to put a mark. on each side and down here it's just about even that way um, when I go to trim it I know where this is going to sit so we have our frame, we have our canvas, and now I'm going to get rid of my garbage and we're going to start painting our frame. Be right back. Alright, now comes the painting. I am going to paint my little frame. A uh, ballet slipper pink. It's the normal that I use, the Waverly chalk. So I'm going to paint the frame. And I found at the Dollar Tree this little ducky. They actually it comes in a kit. Let's see. It's a little ceramic painting set. It's a little this one was the duck, and it comes with a little brush and paints of its own. But I am going to paint that, and it's going to sit on the edge on just a little decoration type thing. That's an idea I've got stuck in my head, and you know me and my ideas and my head, and that's a whole different subject. So let's get to work here. Let's paint. We have our first coat on our frame. I'm going to let that sit and dry for a minute. And yes, you did see me paint with water. Basically, I like to, especially on wood, I like to dampen the wood. It brings the grain out. I am very much um, a texture and wood I just love it and when you dampen uh, wood the green pops out and I like that feeling and look so alright so there's our frame now for the duck
is our little ducky. So, that is his first coat. I'm going to let him, if I can get my fingers out, let him dry for a minute. And I'm going to let this all dry for about 5-10 minutes, and I will be back. So don't go away. is all painted. My frame has been painted and is I'm gonna say 99.9% .9 dry. So now to get this frame on here and the first thing I have to do is trim it. going to look great. So, now, turn this over, turn this over, and we bring out the staple gun. And keep your fingers crossed. Is perfect. Isn't that cute? Alright. So now you can decorate any way you want. And like I said, I have my little duck. I have a little pinch of uh, reindeer moss. And my trusty little glue gun. So, I'm going to decorate this the way I want. my duck and I want to again thank Charlie and her father from Dose of Dad and the DodFam.com and I will be posting their links 
down in the description. So make sure to stop by, say hi, tell them Bonna sent you. And if you like this little tutorial, even though I put my spin on it, um, leave a thumbs up, drop me a comment, and if you like these, subscribe, because I do it all the time, honestly. So, I hope you have a great day, and I really hope to see you soon. Bye-bye now.